Good afternoon. I'm so glad to be here with you guys because you here at Workforce First are actually made up of human resource professionals, organizational development professionals, and trainers who were laid off from corporate America like myself. So give yourselves a hand. What I like about being here with you guys is that you guys five years ago developed a company and you said, you know what, we're tired of being laid off from corporate America. I know how it feels to get laid off after working in HR or training or organizational development. And you guys came together and developed a company and you said, you know what, we're going to put our employees first. And you know what that means? We'll never get laid off because we're going to put, put each other first. So I really like that concept. <laughs> The reason I'm here today is because, as you know, the economy has taken a downturn. And I know none of us want to lose our jobs, right? How many of you want to keep your job? Yes, yes. So what we're here to do, and you're, we're here with our senior level executives, we're here with all staff members, the whole company's here in the room, so I'm very excited to be here. What we're going to do today is we're going to brainstorm some, some things we can do to develop and implement a plan that will enable us to remain profitable. We want to be profitable, right? Yeah. And while maintaining in our employee base. And again, you've said you want to maintain your, your employment here. So we're going to come up with some ideas on how you can keep your employment, but also um, we want to generate some revenue. So upon completion of today, we're going to have a plan that we're going to be able to implement. And so I'm very excited. So great job. You guys did a great job on your introductions. Can I get a whoop whoop? <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to come up with some ideas on decreasing expenses. Now, I know you don't want to do this, but you did say you want to keep your job, right? You want to keep getting that check. So I know this is kind of hard sometimes because we don't want to lose the benefits. We don't want to lose the perks that we all receive. However, Think of, think of this like you would do with your children. Let's say one of you, your spouses got laid off and you're sitting down with your children and you're saying, you know what, Johnny, Mary, I'm going to keep you housed. I'm going to keep you fed, right? But some things are going to have to get cut from the budget, right? Now, it's not going to be pleasant, but you got to make it something that they can live with, right? Everybody can live with this. We, we do have a house, we do have lights on, we can not eat, so it's not awful. But some things are going to get cut from the budget. So I want you to think along those lines. And what I want you to do is come up with some ideas around decreasing expenses. So in your table groups, I want you all, you have stickies and you all have markers. Everyone will begin to write one per sticky, something we can do to decrease our expenses here at our company, workforce first. Does everybody understand the idea, the concept? One per sticky. You're going to begin to brainstorm some things that we can do to decrease expenses here at Workforce First. Everybody clear? One per sticky. And you can begin. All right. And we're just going to take about a minute, a minute and a half. Is everybody clear again? One per sticky. You're going to write on your, everybody um, gets, everyone, every, each person is going to write one per sticky using a marker, and you're going to begin to write down some ideas that we can use to decrease expenses here at Workforce First. Workforce First. <laughs> All right, I see a lot of ideas being generated. I'm going to give it about 30 more seconds. You guys are doing a great job writing. I know this is hard sometimes. You don't want to lose the great perks, right? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're going to stand up with our stickies. Everybody up. And I want you to make a line here. And you're going to begin to, and we're going to make a line so everybody come here. Began to form your line after me. Thank you very much. Nobody wants to be first? The first person gets a prize. All right, what we're gonna What we're gonna do is you're gonna begin to place your sticky up. You only have one rule. If you see something written that's similar to what you have, you can't place your sticky. All right, let's go. Proceed until you do not see your sticky. So there will be no duplication, is what we're creating. No duplication. Thank <laughs> you. 
You guys did a great job. No duplication so far. You can keep going as many times as you have. If you have more than one sticky, you can keep going and, until you get to duplicating. No duplication. Good job. All right, are we out of ideas? Fresh out? Okay, guys, give yourselves a hand. Y'all did a great job. I'm going to check off the decreased expenses on the agenda. Can I get a whoop, whoop? Good job. All right, now let's look at what we have. We have eliminate daily fruit. We have C, who wants flex time. All right. Okay, great ideas. Turn computers off at night. No more popcorn. <laughs> Pay for coffee. It's not free, but it's at a cost. This continue the free Friday lunch. I won't charge for mileage on in-town jobs, right? <laughs> Buy a dollar store. Cut up. What is that? Buy at the dollar store. Okay, great. Cut out water jugs, standardized office supplies, and outsource services. Go paperless. You guys came up with some great ideas, so give yourselves a hand. All right. Now, what you're going to notice at your desk is you each have dots. And we're going to prioritize, but the way we're going to prioritize this list is I want everybody to raise your right hand, <coughs> point your finger, and point at the person at your table who's most likely to be the next president of the United States of America. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you did it. You did it two-way? I'm going to break the tie. It's going to be you, Gail. All right. Whoever that is who's president of that table, you're going to come up and place one dot beside the item that you feel is the, the best choice for decreasing expenses. Okay, we're going to start with Gail. You ready? I apologize. Oh, great idea. You're, okay, sure. Gail, if, if we're going to take a break. We're going to stop. Michael brought up a good point. He wants to know if we can group some of them. So let's see what um, items look similar. So turn computers off at night and turn off the lights. Will we say that goes together? And going paperless, okay. All right, all right, that's here. Friday, no more cater Friday. Okay, what about no more popcorn? And no fruit. And no fruit. And no coffee. Okay, so let's say what what would we call this? Food. All right, food. You guys are awesome. No more free lunch. Okay, we have we have office supplies here. Ordering, change company outing to same thing. I'm not sure what this is. Decrease CEO bonus. Decrease CEO bonus. Okay. Um, so what about okay? Buy at dollar store. Sharing, purchasing snacks. That's food, right? Would you agree that's food? Okay. All right, buy a dollar store, change company outing. Do you, does any of these sound like they would go together? No company retreat? Yeah. Outing, okay. I want to charge for mileage. Where's that? Who's charging us for mileage? I'm not really sure. Cut out water jug. Does that go with this food? Okay. Standardized office supplies. Dollar store. Dollar store. Dollar store, okay. What are we going to call this one? Supplies? Can we agree on supplies? Okay. You guys are awesome. All right. And then reduce salary increases. That goes with the bosses. Yes. Would you agree with that? Okay. What are we going to call this? Compensation, salary, salary. That's great. All right. Purchase of water at water dispense. Can we agree this is food? Okay. Okay, what about the flex time? Can we put that with salary? Salary, yes. Okay. All right, you guys did an awesome job. So our, our titles are food, salary, and supplies. All right, so everything falls under that. Okay, awesome. You did a great job. Okay, food, salary, and supplies. These are the ways we're going to reduce expenses. Awesome. All right, presidents, you ready? Come up with your dots. 
Um, so it's just three, so I want you to just do one. Oh, awesome! Do we put it like near the word? You don't want you to stick it? Yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. That's great. Awesome. It's just three, so Wait, one of each. This is like going greenish. Oh, that's food. It's food. This is all food, salary, and supplies. So she just put one on. Three? Yep. Okay. All right. One more president to come. All right. We have one more. Okay. Awesome. So we have two on salary and one and three on food. So it sounds like the consensus is that we're going to reduce food. How do we feel about that? Well, I think we should do a cost benefit analysis. All right, I agree. Okay, well, let's table that. I think that's an awesome idea, but let's table it. Um, hopefully, we'll get to it by the end of this agenda, cost-benefit analysis. What we plan to do today is to just go over those items there, but if we don't get to it, we'll do it one-on-one, -on -one, you and I. Okay, so let's do cost-benefit analysis separate. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, we'll go. Cost-benefit analysis. Okay. Awesome. All right, let's move on to next item. So ready for our whoop. We're going to now do increase revenue. So now what I want you to do is brainstorm some ideas on how to generate revenue. And before we do that, you know, when you guys formed this company five years ago, you all came together. And in 2005, you were the number one fastest 